right. <laughs> I suck at triads. And I've also always been a guitarist who, when I play a line, I don't want to think about theory. I want to think as little as possible, which in a way is a blessing and a curse. I always thought that those motherfuckers like Pat Metheny, John Coltrane, some badass motherfuckers. But you know those, you probably know more than me, but fusion guys, Shikari and all those who play like in and out of modalities, like it's nothing. I've always been like fascinated and just frustrated about them motherfuckers. And I've always been, I've always been like, fuck, that's something you can't achieve with a guitar. It's just impossible. It's not just, it's not something you do with a guitar. It's more like a piano a saxophone thing. So I went and did some research in order to, when I was in my phase where I was like, I have to start playing hip. I want to play out. I want to play outside of modalities and shit. You know, we all, we all you, you're probably there now or you probably will get there soon. I realized these guys, except for being high on substances, <laughs> used other tools to make their solos hip. And one tool they used was meth. No, I'm just kidding. Triads. As I said, I suck at triads. I rarely use them, but when I do use them, I use them in this specific way. So I use two triads, and that's over a major seven chord. So now for the triads. Let's take a G major seven chord and apply two triads to it. The sound will invoke the sharp 11 of the G major 7. It's a Lydian sound, right? It's basically the Lydian sound over a major 7 chord. And I'm not gonna lie, it's one of the sexiest things you will ever play. So in this example, you wanna play a G major triad, followed by an A major triad. So G major and A major sounds like this over a G major 7 chord. Now to be able to use this concept, you really gotta learn your triads. And I know all your teachers probably been like, you learn your triads all over the place. I'm not even, I'm not even someone who's saying that because my, me, myself, I'm not that good at triads. I just learn them in the way that's gonna make me make music. You know what I'm saying? Learn the triads in a way that makes you make Muse. Learn the triads in a way that will make you creative. So if that's if that's to play them like this, or if that's to play them with a metronome, do whatever the fuck you want. But in a way, you gotta be comfortable knowing where the triads are in order to be free with this concept. So a pattern I use for this concept looks like this. Every time you have a major seven chord, you can use that major seven chord's triad. So if you have G major seven chord, G triad. And then for the next triad, you just go up a whole step from the G, you got an A triad. So basically that will make it easy for you to transpose this to, into all keys. This will probably give you some good ideas if you're writing songs. If you're playing jazz, this will give you ideas on playing like more triadic. And maybe you're just a guy who has a fetish on triads. And then I'm happy to be providing this lesson for you. <laughs> Here is me playing around with the concept the best I can. Hey, I wanna, I wanna pick up my guitar and play some triad. Maybe that's you right now, <laughs> and then I'm happy for you. Link in bio for lessons. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.